Hello everyone and welcome to Field Arbs number three. My name is Mike Anderson and today we're going to be doing a very special Arbor Day uh, Field Arbs focusing just on trees. So don't forget to stick around if you want to find out the answers. Okay, the first tree, question number one. The first tree is going to be this beautiful tree that we're standing under now. They tend to grow in uh, low areas, drainage lines close to rivers, and they usually have a very straight trunk like you see over here. Nice dark, very blocky bark, growing upright, often multi-stemmed, but not always. Now the tree's leaves are very distinctive. They have this beautiful sort of spear shape. Uh, here's one here, which is really good. The shape of it you can see nicely just over there. And this one you can see the edges are quite scalloped and rounded. And I must warn you, this tree has a milky latex. And if you can see that, when you pluck a leaf off, a little white milky secretion comes out. Now this is quite toxic. Be careful not to get that in your eyes or mouth. What tree is this? Okay. Everyone, this is now question number two of our special Arbor Day field obs. And the second question focuses on what is this tree, sometimes referred to as a tree of life. It's almost always growing in drier areas, although here on Karongwe Game Reserve, it's growing mostly on the rocky places. Now, it's an extremely slow growing tree with a very pale trunk. I don't know if you can see the bark on this tree. It's got very pale, pale patches all over it and the leaves are reasonably small this helps it to not dry up in these very dry areas that they that they grow in and it's extremely extremely drought tolerant and slow growing this tree if cut down can take decades to recover from that it's an evergreen tree with a very twisting appearance very important for herders in those arid areas because it's sometimes the only source of food. What tree is this? Well done so far everyone. This is question number three. This is one of my favorite trees. It's one of the very largest trees that you can find in the Lowfeld region. It's almost always growing on riverbanks or drainage lines sometimes on termite mounds as well. They like very nutritious soils. And oh, let me grab some leaves here. The leaves are nice and green and shiny, and they are wavy as well, and quite large, these leaves. These are smaller leaves from a young branch, but as you can see, this leaf over here, just hold that for a second. This leaf is very long and wavy. Okay, the, the tree itself grows with very, very dark bark with patches of lichen all over this pale patches and it has green fruits that you can't see most of the year and they turn brown right at the fruiting season around December January and they fall down they're usually snapped up by everything we eat underneath one of these trees in our Karangwood camp it's a massive huge tree probably hundreds of years old what tree could this possibly be Question number four. Everyone, you're doing super great so far. This question is slightly easier for those of you who've been watching for a while because this is another tree that's fantastic. So many interesting properties. This tree has extremely huge leaves and a very pale bark that's very smooth. And interestingly, this one is almost always, I can't say always, but almost always growing directly on rocks usually granite rocks like this one here in the Karangwe riverbed. You can see how those roots cling to the rocks. And in fact, this tree is really important for biological weathering. Breaking this rock down in order to create soil. It takes a long time, but it's incredible that a tree can start small like this and then grow into a huge tree, but it's crumbled this rock and cracked into it. What tree is this? Congratulations everyone who said Tambuti. This is a Tambuti tree, beautiful example of them. They grow in these groves and this is just inside of our eco training camp. And as I mentioned, uh, it is toxic, but has some interesting uses. 
Well done for those of you, this was a very, very tough one. For those of you who said this is a shepherd's tree, specifically a white stemmed shepherd's tree or white trunk or white bark shepherd's tree. Boschia albitrunca. This massive, huge tree is a jackalberry. One of the very largest trees that you can find here in the Lowfeld, often along the riverbeds, as I mentioned. So well done, those of you who got it correct. Uh, it could have been mistaken for lots of other very large trees, but it's the only one that has this dark bark with pale patches and lots of very large leaves, very, very shiny and wavy. This is a large leafed rock fig, Ficus abutifolia. And as you can see, as the name suggests, they've got huge leaves as big as a hand. Look at this leaf that's just above me here. I just noticed it now. Look at the size of that leaf. Congratulations, everyone. That was Field Obs number three, our Arbor Day special. I hope you did as well as I think you did. And if you liked that and want more just like this, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.